Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona. I am a blogger, mental health writer, I write for the Metro. I've got my own website. I'm doing this series called Five Minutes with Fee where every week I will just rattle through a little topic that I want to talk about because let's be honest, you probably don't want to listen to me talk for 20 plus minutes, which I could easily do, but I won't subject you to that. So this week I am going to talk about why I quit my job. I have quite quite a few jobs in my time, um, but I want to talk about why I why I quit my career, basically like my the career that was something that I'd worked towards for years and I was on a really good salary and why I quit that to save my mental health. So I um, was a manager in the catering industry. I managed cafes and coffee shops and stuff um, when I lived in Scotland and I had a mental breakdown in 2012. It was so much fun. And <laughs> basically I, had, I was off work for six months and after six months I just said to them, do you know what, I'm not going to come back. And the reason that I did that, there were a few reasons and I just want to talk about them now because it wasn't an easy decision to make but I'm so glad that I did it. I'm not suggesting that any of you go out and quit your jobs like on a whim. First of all, I needed more time off. I had six months off. I got, I think it was like three months paid leave and then three months half pay. And after that, I wasn't going to be getting anything other than what the government were giving me. And I was like, I had tried to go back a couple of times and it just ended really badly. And I wasn't, just wasn't ready. And I thought, I just need more time off. And if I don't come back now, when am I going to come back? I just thought, it's not fair to the company because, or maybe I'm wrong, but I felt it wasn't fair to them because I knew deep down I wasn't going to come back and they were holding my job for me and they, wouldn't, they weren't going to hire anyone else. And the rest of the department would suffer because they didn't have a, they didn't have a manager. So I thought, I, just, I, need, I know I need more time off, so if I just quit, then it takes away the pressure of having to come back and have meetings and stuff all the time. And the other reason was, it was I was in a management role and I am not a natural as a manager, even though I did it from when I was tw 21 to when I was 26, I did it for five years, and every day I hated it. I like people, but I can't, I can't manage them. I couldn't, I, my mental breakdown took so much out of me that it was enough pressure to take care of myself, never mind going into a stressful job and taking care of other people. I just, I just thought, my brain cannot handle all the complexities of running a business, essentially. The other reason was, that I wasn't ready to actually talk openly about my mental illness and I knew that if I went back to work I would have to do that to some extent. Obviously like it's my my health is my my private business, yes, but I knew that when I went back to work I would have to go back under some conditions so I wouldn't be responsible for all the things that I used to be responsible for because I'd have to lighten the workload. I was the go-to person in my department, obviously, because I was the manager. And I just, I could tell if somebody came to me and said, oh, can you, remember like last month you did this thing for me, can you do that again? I would have to say no, and I wasn't very good at saying no back then. And I thought, I'm gonna have to explain to every single person or find a way of communicating. I, I'm not doing that task anymore. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And I thought it would make me look like I didn't care anymore. I thought they're going to think I'm lazy um, if I can't explain to them. Oh, it's because I'm I'm too stressed. I just wasn't willing to have that conversation with people over and over every day. And I thought, if I can't have that conversation, I'm going to end up taking on more work and it's just going to be pointless. And the other reason was, I didn't actually think that anything would change when I went back. I thought, like, employers obviously are obliged to make all these adaptations to your workload um, we're supposed to change your environment so that you are, your mental illness is accommodated kind of thing. But I just, I just thought, how can I expect to just slot back in and everyone to adapt to me not being mentally well? I just thought, people will try. I don't, I don't, I knew that they would try, but I just thought, I'm not everyone's top priority and I can't expect them to like handle me with cotton wool and tiptoe around me. I just thought, once I'm back there a couple of weeks, the same responsibilities are going to be piled back on me again and I just I just don't think anything will change. I'll just I'll just be caught in the same cycle again and I'll just I'll just be off sick again. So I could see the cycle before me about to unfold again and again and I thought, no, no thank you. So I quit. 
I quit and I found another job which was just a waitressing job, just minimum wage, minimum res responsibility. So I quit my job and I, I started that and I lasted a day, couldn't do it, couldn't even do that. So in that respect I know that quitting was the right thing to do because if I couldn't even do a simple, not saying that waitress and simple because it's not, but like like a low responsibility job, I definitely couldn't have gone back to be a manager. And I ended up being off sick for another six months before I went back to being a waitress again. So that was a full year I needed off. And I'm so, like quitting my job was so hard because I felt like such a failure. I felt like I, I wasn't a valid adult anymore because I didn't have a career. I, I lost so much when I quit my job, but now, six years later, I can finally say that 100% it was the right decision because now I'm working for myself, I'm self-employed, I'm a writer and I've got a book coming out and it's all happened for a reason and I'm so happy that I did it. I'm not trying to suggest again that you all go and quit your jobs, but sometimes you've got to do what's right for you. So let me know in the comments below if you've had a similar um, experience. I'd love to know what your experience has been. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me every week. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.